I'm going to be doing a question from uh, LRDI. This was from CAT 2020 slot 3. Wonderful question. And so, a survey of 600 schools in India was conducted to gather information about their online teaching learning process, OTLP. Uh, quite appropriate for this year. The following four facilities were studied. F1 owned software for OTLP. F2 trained teachers for OTLP. F3 training materials for OTLP. F4 all students having laptops. Four categories. The following observations were summarized from the survey. 80 schools did not have any of the four facilities. 40 had all four. Okay. Straight away. The, the important thing is to look at an LRDI set and then say where are, where are the where are the cards falling. This one, you read till here. I'm gonna shift to my marker mode. Sorry. You read till here. Then you should be able to say, okay, Venn diagram, set theory. I'm drawing diagrams and I'm gonna figure out. And so we have an, in none of the four, we have all of the four. We're going to treat F1, F2, F3, F4 as sets. We're going to talk about F1 union, F2 union, F3 union, F4, whole complement. That is this. All four intersection, that is this. Quite obviously then after this, we'll move on to F1 and F2 only, F2 and F3 only, F1, F2, F4, all of those in some form. That's what I expect. It's very important for you to be able to pick a set. And this one is a Venn diagram set with uh, four Four, four sets, F1, F2, F3, and F4. And uh, I used to draw this nice circle diagrams. And it's confusing. So I tried that and it, it took me a long time. And I was uh, peeved. So I, one of the guys told me quite, quite uh, that was one very other interesting way of presenting data. And I, I kind of took to it. It's a very interesting way. I'm going to outline that. The number of schools with only F1, only F2, only F3, and only F4 was 25, 30, 26, and 20 respectively. But lots of data, lots of numbers. Even at this point, you can sense that You've got to draw a diagram and put that in because beyond this, you can't read it. 80 outside, 40 in the middle, and then four only. Yeah, okay, I can I can grab it. But now I suspect we're going to go into territory of F1, F2, and F3, F2 and F4, but not the other two. And that becomes tricky to try to remember. But this is a Venn diagram question, right? So let's see the subsequent set of constraints. Just just glance through it, but not really take it taken too seriously. The number of schools with exactly three of the facilities was the same irrespective of which three were considered. This is interesting. 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 4, 1, 3, and 4, 2, 3, and 4. All four numbers are equal. And 313 schools had F2. Again, it's interesting. It's been given the F2 total number. 26 had only F2 and F3, but not F3 or F, F1 or F4. Among the schools having F4, 24 had only F3 and 45 had only F2. So 2 and 3 alone, 4 and 3 alone, 4 and 2 alone. Some some nuggets were being given. 162 schools had both F1 and F2. Now this number is not F1 and F2 alone. It's F1 and F2, F1, F2, F3, F1, F2, F4, F1, F2, F3, F4. All of those coming under this. The number of schools having F1 was the same as number of schools having F4. I'm not going to process all of this, but I have a sense. This is giving us four numbers. This is one large number of, of F2 and then assorted bits and pieces. I want to capture this data. It's nice, interesting format. So this is F1 under this rectangle plus square. This is F2. This is F3. This is F4. And interestingly, this format is very interesting because it helps us grab F1 as this entire set. The intersection between F1 and F2 is this. The two triangles meet. That, that's, that jumps out. F, so entire thing is F1 and F2. If you take about this set, it is F1, 2 and F3 or F1, 2, 3. This one is F1, 2 and 4. F1, 2, 4. Now, one distinction when we say F1, 2 here, we mean F1 and F2 only. If you're thinking about F1 intersection F2, there will be this, this, this and this. Keep that in mind. When you're drawing this diagram, it's like our Venn diagram with three sets. So this is not intersection of F1 and 2. It is F1 and F2 only. This is F1, 2 and 3 only, no F4. So the, the, the regions are nice and clear, self-evident. So this number is intersection of everything. Outside this whole framework would be none of these uh, the, peop, the schools which have none of these facilities. And so out of the 600, some 80 are sitting outside. Each of these regions, numbers can then be populated, filled in. And then we can try to simplify this. Now, this is the framework you're using. 
But remember, when I'm talking about this region as F134, which is why I've underlined it, that is F13 and 4 only, no 2 in it. And so, whereas this number F1 is all of F1. This is F1 only. And so, if you look at it, we have the question has already given us this number, this number, this number, this number. It has given us this number. It has given us the number outside. It has also told us that 134, 123, 234, 124 are all equal. And then in assorted fashion, it has given, given us some of the other numbers. And so, a bunch of numbers we already know. Let's put them in and then we'll process it further. Fine. So, total number 80 did not have any of the four. So, the total number is 520 that we know. 40 had all four. F1 only, F2 only, F3 only, F4 only are 25, 30, 26, 20. These numbers we have filled it. These we know. F2 totally is 313. That is something to keep in mind. So, we may probably add all of this up equated to 313. Fine. We know something more than that. Let's fill that as well. We know that each of these numbers is equal. So, I'm putting it as n, 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 n. And this is 40. 25, 30, 26 and 20 get filled in. This 313 has got filled in. And just 26 schools had F2 and F3, but neither the other two, neither of the other two. This is 26. And lovely. And so we know that 162 is the total F1 intersection F2. And so this, 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 these four add up to 162. F12 and then these add up to 162. Think about it. This is 40. These two are n and n. So 40 plus 2n is accounted for. So out of 162, 40 plus 2n sorry, plus 2n is accounted for. Or we have 122 minus 2n sitting here. So F12, that is only 1 and 2, intersection of 1 and 2 without the other 2 is 122 minus 2n. And so now this helps us capture that 162 had both of them. Right? The number of schools having F1 was the same as number of schools having F4. So if this is k, this is also k. My gut feel now is our most interesting starting point would be this 313. But let's fill these data, this data point as out of people having F4. 24 had only F3. So F3, 4 is 24. That is this number. And 45 had only F2. F4, 2, 4. Yeah. Fine. So in this grid, these four have filled themselves. This is taken care of itself. These four have filled. We have this number, this number, and this number already filled. We need to find F13, F14. And then if we find n, that will be a big breakthrough because we find n, then these four and this automatically get filled. And so our starting point now looks like it is going to be to find n. We know f2 is 313. In f2, we know this, 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 and everything else is in terms of n. So if we attack that f2 being 313, maybe we'll get n and that will take us somewhere. So let's jump that. So f2 is 313 that is you add this 30 26 45 40 and then the other expressions have n in them so i'm going to add this 30 plus 26 is 56 56 plus 85 so this is 11 141 to this, we add 122 minus 2n, n, n, n. So 122 plus n. So to this, we add 122 and then an n at the end. So we add this 3, 6, 263 plus n equal to 313. Or this gives us n is 50. So using the idea that f2 is 313, we can plug in something else. You could have slightly done the slight variant. f12 intersection is 162. So you could have said, all of these add up to 162. We use that to even plug in 122 minus 2n. This whole thing added up, adds up to 162. And then we have these three numbers we can find n. 
either way is fine. So this is we have plugged everything in going cell by cell or saying that okay, this is 162. Let me worry about the remaining regions. I find n. Once you find n, 50, 50, 50, 50 fills itself. 122 minus 2n is 122 minus 122. That takes care of itself. So bunch of cells get filled. Now what are we going to do? We, we're going to attack the next nugget that we have not used, which is f1 is k and f4 is also k. And so f1 and f4 are both both k. So add everything up, add everything up, and then equate the two. We should find something that is that that, that is missing from this nugget. One way of doing that is to do that. I'm going to do a slight variation. I'm saying this is f1, this is f4. So this chunk is present in both of these lists. And so F134, F14, F124, F1234 is present on both of these lists. F1 has it and F4 has it. That is F1 intersection F4. That we can keep aside. We can add these four and equate it to these four. So add these four, equate it to these four or 25 plus 22 plus 50 plus F13, which is this number should be equal to 50 plus 24 plus 20 plus 45. This 50 gets knocked off. This is 47 plus F13 is 45 plus 44. 47 and F13 is 45 plus 44 or F13 is 42. Remember this F13 only, this number is 42. Lovely, we've taken the fact that this is k and this is equal to k and plugged that in and got to 42. Super, we filled everything in. We've got a lot of detail. This is 42. Now what else is remaining? We found these three, these three, these three, these three, these two, just one piece here is, is missed out. That there's, we've used everything. We've used F1 is equal to F4. We've used F2 equal to 313. We've used the idea these four are equal, all good, except for one fact, which is some total of all of this put together is equal to 520. Plug that in, should get this. Everything put together is 520. The whole thing put together is 520. We can think about this 520 in different ways. One is to add everything up, find the missing number and put it in or go step by step. The approach we have taken is to say exactly one, exactly two, exactly three, exactly four. Exactly four is all four. Exactly one is this, this, this and this. Those have been handed on a platter to us. Exactly two, there are many terms. So we'll come to that later on. All four is this. Exactly three is these four. And so if you take the 520, the total number, exactly one is these four, 25 plus 30 plus 20 plus 26. 25 plus 30 is 55 plus 20 is 75 plus 26, 101. That is exactly one. Exactly three is 200. All four together is 40. So add all of this, we get 341. And so from 520, if we subtract this 341, we'll get the remaining, which is whatever, 179. That is two of these, exactly two of this, one and three only, or one and four only, etc. etc. There are six different terms there. One and two, one and three, one and four, and then two and three, two and four, finally three and four. Add all of this up, this is a missing term. Equate everything put together to 179, we are good to go, which is what we are doing here. So add everything up, 22 plus 42 plus F14 plus 26 plus 45 plus 24. This is F14, F14 or F14. Remember this has to be F14 with an underlining thing. It's only one and four is 20. This number is 20. With that, we have solved the entire grid. And so any combination of 
uh, some two but not the other two some three but not the fourth all four put together none of the four all of those are there on a platter you just need to jump to the question and answer them what are the total number of schools having exactly three of the four facilities 50 50 50 50 200 the kind of question where you solve the grid then you're going to attempt the four questions in a hurry what are the number of schools having facilities f2 and f4 f2 and f4 is some of these four remember it's not f2 and f4 only it is f2 and f4 this entire intersection 50 plus 50 is 100 140 185 luckily that they are the choices we're good to go what are the number of schools having only facilities f1 and f3 number 42 Number of schools having only facilities F1 and F4, the last number that we found, 20, good to go. Right. Lovely set, solving with four sets is tough, challenging. Uh, I did not do this in the exam, but I didn't even see this question. Uh, but it's a lovely set, I had quite some fun solving it. Drawing the diagram and solving is still possible, that's more intuitive. You get a feel for what the intersections are, but it's tricky. You need to be careful that when you draw circles like this, let's say we call this as F1, F2, f3 and f4 and so if you want to have f1 f2 f3 f4 f1 and f2 only is available here f3 and f4 only is available here f1 and f sorry f3 and f2 only this is f3 and f2 f3 and f2 only that becomes a very tricky region to to map on this diagram, you have to draw it slightly curved and take it out. Or you have to say, I'm going to put all these regions. Remember some of the missing regions and store that data separately. And so there's a other ways of depicting this, not exactly circles, but curved shapes. I'm sure, you can look that up. That is possible. But this framework is very useful. So do get some practice with this. Gosh.